it is John Henry who exhibited the same mastery of now as Mark just did in full flight and intensity of improvisation. John Henry accepted no limitations to his human power, and he beat the steam drill. And believe me, he won. Beating that steam drill was more important to him than living. It was life itself. Now, both he and the steam drill are long gone, and he, John Henry, is always the victor in their contest. It is a statement on the personal, the quest for dignity, the belief that some things are worth dying for about sacrifice, a battle to the death for dignity, a belief in the eternal soul, a struggle for freedom. I'm going to die with this hammer in my hand. I'm going to die with this hammer in my hand. You can believe a machine is not ever going to play some blues. And a drum machine might help you dance, but it's not ever going to conduct a band. That's what our music tells you in this time of great and exciting change. The gadget is not the future. The person is, and the people are. Gypsy master of the flamenco guitar, Paco de Luthia, told me, the mind craves for innovation, but the soul yearns for tradition. And in this country, our tradition is innovation. And it's not in any handheld device. It's in us. Huh. It's that magic. It's the wild card. It's that smoke. It's what's in Billie Holiday's sound and Patsy Cline's, Judy Garland's and Mahalia Jackson's. It's in what they want to give you not what they can skillfully take. It's the irrational, the unexpected. It's something that started on a plantation and showed up in the White House. It's what John Henry told you is forever. It's called soul. And the opportunity to demonstrate and receive that passion, emotion, and absolute belief in oneself, in another, and in all of us together is the affirmation of our way of and our way of life that gives our music such depth and meaning. This music cost us a lot. Not knowing what it means cost us a lot more. Mark O'Connor. James Trillo, Carlos Enriquez, Dan Nimmer, Ali Jackson, Walter Blanding, 